Holy crap, this thing is so loud. It's so small. It's the Orange Terror Stamp. This week on Learning Curve. <laughs> Thanks for watching Learning Curve. A couple of things before we get started. First of all, there is a little bit of film grain happening and a mild sepia uh, filter on this footage. Not because uh, my old equipment crapped out on me and I needed to buy a new camera and I didn't want to spend a bunch of money on it uh, because things are so weird right now. Because I'm making artistic choices. But... If it was because I bought a cheap camera that makes me look like a oversaturated serial killer, uh, if I don't touch up the film a little bit, I'd still be grateful that I can still shoot videos and that I found such a good deal on it. But, artistic choices, not broke, just to be perfectly clear. This week, I'm looking at the Orange Micro Terror Stamp. It is a 20 watt classic AB hybrid amplifier in a pedal. 20 watts means it's loud, it has a fair amount of headroom. AB means uh, it's technical, it's got to do with the amount of heat that's produced when uh, while well, it's making noises and the, the B has the transistors and there's stuff. And I looked it up and, and I could explain it here. Like, all things with the internet are knowable but um, it'll be easier for you to click on the link in the description if you care. If you're even worried about it, I put a, a link to a page that breaks all of that down so you can know what it means. It would take me too long to explain it, and I'm not 100% sure I understand it. And I realize in retrospect I could have just said it's a classic AB uh, amp and we could have moved forward. But let's be honest, you don't know what that means either. This thing weighs a mind-blowing 0.84 pounds. It's less than a pound. It is 5.4 inches by 2.4 inches by 3.9 inches. It's tiny. That's why they call it that. That's not what they call it. It's micro. Right. It's micro. They already use tiny. The Terror series started in 2007 with the Tiny Terror. Now for some perspective, the Tiny Terror was 11.93 by 7.48 by 6.02. In the words of the Tiny Terror's designer, Aide Emsley, he wanted an amp that could fit on a piece of paper. But not just an amp that could fit on a piece of paper. He wanted it to make guitars sound like the first three ACDC albums and fit on a piece of paper, which is a tall order. So the plan was to make an amp that you could uh, bring with you on the tube, which is what British people call the subway, or that you could just put in your luggage, fly to your gig, ask somebody else on the bill if you can borrow a 4x12, plug right into that, rock out, grab and go. Fits in your gig bag, no problem. And he succeeded. Thing was a huge hit. People love it. Pros played with it. Nobody could believe that you could make something so small that would sound so good. So the only thing to do next was to go even smaller. They came out with the Micro Terror in 2012. The Micro Terror is a 20 watt hybrid amp. Uh, it's tiny. It comes in at uh, 6.5 by 5.3 by 3.7. Shortly after the Micro Terror came out, Orn said this. If you get famous making small tube amps that sound awesome, then the only logical next step is to make an even smaller tube amp that still sounds awesome. Could we make an even smaller amp still? Don't hold your breath. <sighs> Look, you'd be dead if you held your breath the whole time. Not saying you wouldn't, but they did it. They came out with something even smaller. Now we're at the Terror Stamp. We're going to find out how the Terror Stamp sounds in a minute. Uh, let me give you some specs. Uh, let me tell you what it is. Uh, it's basically a micro dark terror with some tweaks to the game. 
So you get an EX8312AX7 base preamp with a 20 watt class AB solid state power amp. You have two master volume channels that you can switch between with a foot switch. You have a shape control that goes between mid forward and classic scoop. You get a fully buffered low impedance effects loop. The cab sim headphone output that works simultaneously with the speaker output. You have real simple controls. Power on, power off on the side. Volume 1, volume 2, shape, and gain. So my thinking, my hope for this was that I could put it on my little briefcase pedal board, take it to the show, uh, plug into the, the board if it's in a club, or plug it into my PA if I'm providing my own sound system, and then bring a speaker as a monitor because sometimes when you play through the PA it's hard to hear the guitar. Uh, and it can do all of those things really, really well. Um, however, I bought a Joyo rechargeable power supply that I'm very happy with and we'll be talking about in a future episode, but I can't power the amp with the Joyo power supply and that's by no means a deal breaker. It just would have been really cool to just be able to pop open my my pedal board and be ready to go without having to look for an outlet, but you know, there are people with bigger problems in the world. Okay, let's see how this thing sounds. I recorded this uh, out of the amp into a Tascam. I'm going out of the headphone jack into the Tascam. I'm using a Harley Benton TE30. I've got Artec noiseless pickups in it. There's no delay, there's no reverb. It's just it's just the amp. And I'm gonna go through a bunch of different sounds that you can get out of the amp. <laughs>
Okay, now I'm going to throw in a couple of pedals. We're going to do maybe a loop. Uh, we'll just see how it plays with others. And uh, here's what that sounds like. <laughs> Let's go out to my creepy garage and plug it into my passport. Nothing fancy out here. I didn't bring a lot of lights. I just wanted to give you an idea of what it sounds like when you go out of the headphone jack into the PA. So here's that. <laughs> so basically, this thing is Rocco. Hi. Go ahead. Basically, this thing is is so tiny you can just um, put it in your gig bag, right? You got your bag, you got your thing, pop it in there. You got your power source in here. Zip that up. Make sure you have a couple of cables. You're good to go.
That's how it sounds. How do I think it sounds? What's my opinion? I think it sounds like Godzilla f an earthquake with a giant fat b and hot ropes of b out of his giant Godzilla. D yeah, let's get some more. On. I'm ready. To man. And they f hard. They made baby Smurfs. You know, I like it. I like it a lot. So first off, this thing is this thing is loud. I have not put it louder than two. Uh, and that is pushing, like, that's pushing the barrier of apartment sound. Okay, this thing brings it. Secondly, I think the headphone jack sounds amazing. The cab simulation is excellent. I'm really enjoying it. It sounds really good. Now, thirdly, and this was a bit of a surprise, there isn't a position on the shape knob that I don't want to spend a little time with and explore a little more. Usually with an amp, whether it's a, 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 a modeling amp where you have a bunch of amps inside of it or, or like, uh, well, that doesn't have a tone knob, but like a headphone amp or even when I was a kid, I had a Harvard Reverb 2. You would set the tone knob, like you'd find the sweet spot and that's it. Then you're never, you, you never look at it again unless it gets bumped. This thing, every position on the shape knob is interesting and cool and usable and I want to explore it some more and I can't say that I've ever had that experience. Now I don't know if this is how it is with all orange products because this is my first orange amp but I am really psyched about it and I look forward to, uh, to, 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 to using it a great deal. Fourth, I like the distortion on this amp more than I can put into words. It sounds so good 
Which makes it kind of a bummer that they didn't put an independent gain knob for each channel. I would definitely spend whatever extra money it is to get that. Because I play clean a lot and I get a lot of my distortion through pedals and I like to layer things and I like to switch things up, you know. Um, but that distortion, it is definitely worth bending over for. Uh, and it, it will peel the paint off the room. But it'd be great if I could just tap a tap the button and uh, switch back and forth between high gain and clean. Um, and all of the sounds on this, I'm, I'm really happy. Okay, that's the Orange Terror stamp. Uh, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like, please subscribe, please share. If you want to get an Orange Terror stamp, like go shopping. They sell them where they sell guitar stuff. You'll find it. If you sell guitar stuff and you want me to mention you, hook me up. What are you doing, man? I'll work with you. I'm not shy. It's okay. Hey man, I hope you're doing good. I realize everything is bananas right now and I just hope you're being nice to each other and uh, taking time to take care of yourself and try to get your head out of the craziness a little bit. Maybe play a little bit of guitar with your buddies. Maybe go hug somebody if you know that they've been tested and don't have a disease. If they have, wave to them and smile through your mask, I guess is good too. I do want to thank you for watching this and I look forward to seeing you next time. My name is Spencer Dobson. Thank you for watching Learning Curve. Later.